um, 10 of cups and 5 of cups, a lot of cups. And this is not your energy, so we might be quite emotional at this time. Ten of Cups might involve a family situation, a love situation. We had a blissful life and then we had regrets, right? And blockages. And I am hurt and I am disappointed. That's a Nine of Wands with a Ten of Cups, right? Might be a, a marriage situation. Let's see what's going on. Somebody's blocking. Somebody asked for time and space. And eventually a new beginning. Might be a, a fire sign, um, Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's see what this is all about. We're going to go with the last shuffle and then we cut the cards. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, blockages and um, a little bit of isolation, rejection. Again, that energy of leave me alone for now. So let's see what this is all about. Let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And we have the Page of Swords, and this is you, holding on to your money. I love this, and working hard. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is, is um, kind of building a foundation for themselves, by themselves. You know, Page of Swords, it's a beginning of. Some of you, you are so focused. Maybe you have a new job, and it's more important than um, any other situation you might be going through. Or it looks like a lot of effort that you are putting into your money or foundation your stability uh, growing up but it doesn't mean that you are a kid right it means that you want to develop something and improve something um and uh, and have more than um you had before so let's see what's going on so past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual current energies on your side person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck the death scorpio energy i um honestly feel that somebody here is really focusing on work and maybe a bit of fun uh three of cups or maybe that's what is needed we'll see um, definitely an ending on your um, hands, Gemini, right? Might have been a Scorpio here. So Gemini, you in the past, in this connection, Seven of Pentacles with the uh, Princess of Cups in this deck, but we know it's the Page of Cups. So um, definitely emotionally involved and also uh, um, quite patient about this love connection, this love relationship that started. I kind of feel it started, but uh, we didn't go long enough, right? We have pages all over the place. Uh, of course, for some of you, it can mean kids. and But when it comes to this connection, either it stayed, remained um, in um, kind of initial phases, right? And um, I dare say young, why not? And might have um, ended, um, you know, with um, with a lot of understandings and uh, and transformations, and still having love for each other. Right? We do have the um, um, the death as the overall energy, but still, you know, you brought a lot of love to this connection, and also a lot of patience. I would say maturity. You invested in it, and you felt that, you know, um, at some point it will um, come back to you. Right? And um, and this person, look at them. They got so hurt. Whatever happened between the two of you, extremely in pain here. Three of swords, three of wands, right? Three. I don't want to draw conclusions uh, just yet, but somebody here was. Um, I maybe they, um, you know, uh, if you're apart from this person, that is a kind of an indication of of distance right of distance you have waiting on your side they have waiting on their side so might have been a long distance relationship or both of you you had to wait but one got hurt and um either by the length of waiting either by uh, the distance something that was done and there is a sense of um of childish behavior but i we are not there just yet but it feels like something kind of abruptly um ending and painfully ending while there was still love because we might have um, misbehaved 
Mutual well, energies between the two of you might have been a parent somewhere or somebody as, uh, of significance. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody between the two of you, an earth sign. Um, and, um, and it required healing and counseling and guidance. For some of you, maybe somebody got between the two of you and, and counseled one of you. Right? Well, this is not good. Uh, this leads uh, you to nothing. Uh, doesn't have potential, you know. Somebody uh, showing up and like a little bit more mature and saying, you know what? Um, this is not for you. We do have the, again, this um, energy of somebody. And it does look, the more we uh, unveil the energies here, the more they, they show up as, um, you know, as... Um, kind of um, a person in between the two of you it doesn't mean uh, emotional connection or romantic relationship but somebody quite uh, you know king of pentacles i mean he's a provider so if somebody who is uh, paying for the other person said no you know uh, it comes with um, string attached so gemini where are we right now king of swords king of wands king of pentacles of course can be the same sex um, relationship that i'm picking up in energies but this is you and this is staying well on your throne, right? Um, it's the energy of being yourself, it's the energy of having matured, it's the energy of, of um, perspective, it's the energy of wit and uh, clear communication, it's the energy of having your head, um, you know, quite um, limpid, that's a word that comes to mind. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's a proper English word, but it comes from other languages. So. Um, and the king of wands, right? Finally, we can move. That is so much strength and I feel this is all yours um, because we have you really working, really full of energy. We have you with the page of swords having an idea. Uh, a business idea does look like it as the overall and putting the energy into it while going through some transformation of some sort and I'm sensing you are such in a good place. Um, king of wands, I mean, he's the businessman a little bit different than the King of Pentacles, right? It's the passion and the idea and the um, the leadership and and the energy to accomplish something, um, being extremely active. And King of Swords, I mean, it's all about the mind and you are such in a good spot. Um, now this person of yours, <clears throat> sorry, at this time they do have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. I kind of feel they need money, but they are working on it just like you. It's interesting, right? Your overall energy is a lot of work. Their, their energy at this time is the Two of Pentacles, which is a lot of responsibility, juggling multiple jobs and, um, you know, doing, um, kind of making sure, right, that um, they don't need charity, right? And uh, getting back into some financial balance as well. Um, ma making ends meet with the Six of Pentacles, right? Ma making sure that is um, enough and they are well uh, balanced financially. And again, Gemini, between you and this person, unless they are an Earth sign, we do have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Three of Pentacles, right? This partnership is possible. This partnership is possible or somebody has a partnership with an Earth sign or there is somebody in between, can be a mom or dad, can be... Right, we have King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles, right? It's, a, it's kind of a powerful person between the two of you, and I do believe that the impact, you kind of feel it, but in the same time, it makes you grow. So whoever this pertains to, it's like whoever is keeping you apart allows you or points you in, into the direction of self-development, of um, power, um, detachment, brilliant mind, um, energy again to do stuff, um, having a plan, right? Um, and wanting, having the drive and the stamina to do something about. Um, it is Three of Pentacles, right? Which is the energy of partnership <clears throat> between the two of you. And I do hope this is not somebody being married because it might be. That is a message for somebody here uh, where, you know, this connection might have come to an end because that is this... Um, somebody is healing a form of partnership a form of life that they've built with um someone gemini and i hope this is so not true 
Moving forward, we do have the Six of Swords and we do have the Knight of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But this is detachment. This is finally getting back um, in your uh, emotional shape. Um, this is the energy of receiving an offer that's coming your way. But because of the energies of Six of Swords, I kind of feel that this is us, right? Um, coming full circle to a situation. Absolutely full circle. And when it comes to mind, you have it. When it comes to when it comes to your energy and taking back your power, you have it. And Knight of Cups is the energy of being in control emotionally and opening up to love. And we got that too. This person of yours, Gemini, they wait for communication. We do have the Three of Wands with the Ace of Swords. They might also be waiting for clarity, but it's mainly, I would say, that is this energy of um, new beginnings. Um, that is this energy of, you know, they are not, they are juggling and busy elsewhere, but in the same time, they are hurt and still waiting on some form of change. Um, they might be waiting on communication. You know, the mind, <laughs> Gemini tells me, this is communication because it's Ace of Swords. But uh, my spirit guides is not that what I'm hearing and uh, receiving in terms of energies, right? It's more them waiting on uh, on a completely, um, you know, kind of to have that sharp mind to move forward because right now their hands are full, okay? Their hands are full and I hope I'm mistaken here and I'm completely having these energies, but it, that is, you know... There's a sense of partnership, a sense of life, a sense of money, and a sense of responsibility that they are um, right now trying to bring uh, back in balance while waiting for a new beginning of some sort or a vision or a clarity of some sort. Um, now, Gemini, this person of yours, uh, this is mutual energies between you and this person. Um, this is the, the energy of you both regretted, right? Might have been a very sensual affair um, here. A very sensual, um, uh, too quick and done quick and ended quick. Um, Knight of Wands with the Five of Cups, right? And I'm sensing that you know it was and they know it was. And, um, um, you know, I'm kind of, um, this is what, uh, what, um, happens here, right? And, um, and missing that's the energy of missing probably missing the playfulness of it and um and um you know missing the um well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the passion but um in the same time it's interesting it's something that um probably ended too soon and that is a sense of emptiness with it while of course you work on yourself and you have so much success um so much success on it And um, of, of course, clarity and of course, understanding that this person kind of needs, they seem a little bit, um, I don't know, right? They had a lot of pain in the past while waiting and now they are really focused on everyday life and then more waiting, right? So, and right at the core of the reading, that is a partnership here, very solid one, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? If you, if you are dealing with an earth sign, I, I don't see them moving, uh, Gemini. I don't see them moving. I see regrets. I see waiting. I see waiting for clarity, waiting to get back in balance. Um, attachment of some sort, a sense of responsibility towards something, someone, um, but regretful. And probably both of you regret whatever was done. It was, um, right, in a way maybe too fast, too quick to um, maybe not think of, um, you know, or the implications of it or it's the energy we are, we are picking up and, and what comes your way, it's a sense of being more mature, right? We, now we know, now we know, now we realize what happened. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what's going on here. So we do have unrequited love. That is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And bottom of the deck, we do have deception. Someone is wearing a self, um, a false self mask in this relationship. 
So we have unrequited love and deception. We know now where we stand. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have death. Gemini, it's twice the energy, right? Death and death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Again, a sense of transformation. I believe something was in, kind of imposed on you or something, you know, was. And now it's like, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. And finally breaking free. That is a sense of, and because it's the energy to put back into the flow, I kind of feel that it's the death of, the, of a death, right? So it's done. It's done. We do have love. And I love this. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So that is an ending and that is a loving new beginning, right? That we need to focus on. It takes the end of a connection, a proper ending and a proper accepting of, a, of an ending so that we can start a, a love connection with somebody, okay? We do have unity. You understand that uh, the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Death, love, unity, and virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So these are the energies we need to put back into the flow. You are guided, Gemini. It is the death and then um, love, unity, virtue. And guess what? A little bit of work on yourself. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So Gemini, let go of limited, limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Um, and let's have some general advice. I'm kind of curious because it's a, such, a, such an energy of um, kind of an awakening type of energy where it's a confirmation for somebody now that we have all the energies, right? This is over. That is no longer love. We, we went through deception and we need to let go in order to have new love coming our way. So, um, and we need to work on accepting and allowing that ending. For some of you with the Page of Swords, it's kind of like the universe saying, we need to be smart about, right? Page of Swords is the genius card, is your energy, by the way. So um, it's kind of like the universe pleading your case and, and saying, be smart about, you know, it's about time. And it's over and it's um it's been you know um a journey but now we are opening up one where love unity and virtue are um preconditions right <laughs> um let's have some general advice and we do have increased awareness and i'm i so feel that the, you are here um deep connection trust your inner voice right you know your intuition is telling you something uh, when it comes to this um, to this situation. We do have words of abundance and you do have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. That is something that you believe you are um, that's limiting you and now you have words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. And I go back to the overall energy. There is so much work and so much savings, right? Or at least the energy of paying attention to money. And now it's also the way we attract money, right? And we have prosperity. Words of abundance, law of attraction and prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. I'm kind of sensing that you are more, more focused on money and this one is over, but I'm saying for those of you that this situation is not over or you feel you can't let go, uh, well, it's kind of a confirmation here. Gemini. So, hey, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.